We've talked about your dedication, we've talked about James, but what is the single most, the one single most important factor in getting you to the top level? I would say the mental aspect. The mental is huge. You know, you can run as much as you want, you can spend time with the ball as much as you want, but if you don't have it up here to be able to get through some things, um, it's really tough. And when the going gets tough, the mentally strong will survive. And I think that that's what I've learned the most is you know, you're going to have a bad day, you're, you're going to have an off game, but it's how you react, it's how you respond. And um, they do say, you know, once you reach the top, a lot of it's mental. For the aspiring professional soccer player, you've already said, or you've already given them the insight on how much dedication it takes. What other advice would you have for them? Um, I would say, you know, you, you, got, you have to love it. You know, it, it's obviously, I wasn't a natural, I wasn't a naturally fit player growing up. You know, still not. I've obviously worked really, really hard to, to get myself fit. Um, and I think a lot of people don't want to work on their weaknesses, and you have to. Uh, for me, you know, the, the mental aspect of my game and the physical aspect of my game is what I really had to work on. The skill I had, you know, continue to kind of brush up on that, but those aspects were huge. And, um, you know, for me, training's just become a part of me. It, it's what I do when I wake up, you know, it, it's something you do every single day. Sometimes it, it becomes monotonous and, you know, you just go through the motions. But eventually, all that you've done and all that you've, you've worked for, um, you know, prepares you and makes you ready. You talked about your cousin playing multiple, multiple sports. Did you play multiple sports growing up? And what are your thoughts on student athletes playing multiple sports while in high school? I did play multiple sports. I actually swam up until I was 18 years old for a local swim team. Um, I played basketball up until my junior year of high school. And I think that it, it's definitely okay um, to play multiple st sports. I played softball as well. But I think once you reach you know, 11, 12 is, is really kind of when you need to figure out what you want. And you know, if you want to be the best at something, whether that's a piano player or soccer player, you've got to put in you know, more hours than the person sitting next to you. And um, you know, I think that's definitely a, a big debate, multiple sports or not. But um, I think that you know, if I had to do it over again, I would probably just continue to stick with soccer. I know you've had the broken bone in your shoulder recently, um, and I believe you also had a broken ankle at one point. What other physical effects has soccer had on your body? I've broken a lot of bones, actually. I broke my nose, broke my wrist. You mentioned shoulder, ankle. Um, actually sliced open my, my knee one time. I don't know if it was someone's cleat. Um, and I think that that is, that is it. Uh, the, ankle, the ankle was tough. That was a really long recovery. Taught me the importance of being patient, which is hard for a professional athlete. Uh, but, you know, it, it takes a while to recover from, from injuries. You know, even my shoulder, I'm still starting to get my strength back, starting to feel normal. Um, but it takes time, and you've got to be patient. It's part of the game, and it happens. Do you feel the physical part or the psychological part is harder to get over? Uh, I think definitely both. It's, it's difficult missing things. But I think, I look back at all the injuries that I've had, I um, remembered another one, collarbone I broke as well. Um, I think in those times I may have needed a break. And you know, someone was telling me, hey, you need to shut down your body for a little bit. And there's always reasons. I think after I did my ankle, I came back smarter. I watched a lot of games, um, studied the game a little bit more, and uh, you know, got better. So I think that, yeah, both mentally, physically, it's definitely hard. Um, this match in San Antonio this weekend versus New Zealand is in support of breast cancer research. What does the cause mean to the team, and also what meaning, if any, does it have for you on a personal level? Well, I think it's great that 
you know, the breast, care, breast cancer awareness has, has been all over. You look at the NFL, um, even the NWSL, we wore pink jerseys in honor of that. And I think it's, it's huge. And for women's sports, it just shows a lot. Um, I'm really excited. There'll be pink goals, pink corner flags at our game on Sunday. Uh, but it, it definitely means a lot to our team. I know that there have been uh, people that, that our team has um, encountered that has had breast cancer. I know for me it, it hits home because my aunt um, had it. I was very young at the time, so I don't really remember kind of that. Um, but, you know, my Aunt Sandy, she's a, she's a trooper. She's a strong woman. She got through it. Um, she freaked me out when she would take her wig off every now and again and run around the house. Um, but she's a over 10 year survivor and um, you know it's, it's definitely special to be able to, to be part of all this. It's fantastic. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate you coming out. No problem. Best of luck on Sunday. Thanks, appreciate it.